Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your buffet blonde. Fabulously dressed. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Arts Center right here at 1050 Second Avenue. And I'm here with one of the uh, shop owners of Sakaya Antiques. Now, you have some amazing stuff in this place. I see everything from pictures, uh, paintings of Sir Henry VIII to some wonderful other antiques, and this very unusual piece that I'm looking at that we're right below is a bat chandelier. What it, tell my audience the story behind that bat chandelier. I'm so curious. I mean, did it belong to Elvira or something? Uh, it must have come from Transylvania. It's it really comes from Transylvania. <laughs> you're, nearby, you're kidding me. Nearby, Austrian. It's Austrian. Vienna, Austria. Turn oh, that's of pretty close. <laughs> and so tell my audience the story about that. It's fascinating. I love it. It's perfect for someone's bat cave. <laughs> So some guy just walked in and said, I want to sell you this piece. Oh, yeah. No, I bought it out of a house who had a, a bat cave in there already. Oh, he had a yes. bat cave in there. <laughs> Did he live in a castle? A big castle, yes. Wow, yes. that's amazing. In Massachusetts, yes. So you tra- but, but they've, they've Oh, in Massachusetts. They've made several of these, so it's not the only one. So you travel all over the world? Over, yes. Everywhere. Hunting for antiques all the time. Hunting, yes. Hunting, all hunting. my life. <laughs> Tell my audience, what was the most unusual piece you've ever bought? The most unusual? There's so many. Hmm. That's one of them, I would think. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. There's antiquity pieces. Is that and, an authentic painting of Sir Henry VIII or the reproduction? It's on, uh, porcelain. It's authentic, yes. It's authentic? 19th century authentic, yes. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. pretty amazing it stuff. Tell my audience if we want to learn more information um, about your shop, where can we go? Do you have a website? Yes, it's sakaiantiques.com. Spell that S A K A I antiques.com. I'm on Facebook. Also, you come visit us here, 55th and 2nd Avenue in Manhattan. And you're here every day? Yes. S- Sundays too? Yes. If you're Sundays too, you call me anytime. 
212-486-8900. Can we follow you on yes, Facebook? Of course, please do. What's your name? Sakai Antiques. I'm Richard Sakai. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at the Antique Center. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. I'm Cognac Willaline, and we are here at the Antique Arts Center, and I'm here with the gallery owner, and she's going to introduce herself and explain to my audience what this is all about. This is quite remarkable works of art. Introduce yourself, darling. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Shiva, and uh, I am from uh, Iran, which you know most people know like Persia, and these works are Persopolis. You know, they are... Um, ancient you know city of uh, ceremonial capital of uh, uh, Persians back then like more than 2500 years ago you know and this is how they look like now you know because like they kind of ruined in the weather you know and uh, this name were supposed to be my dad's name Mehdi J. Lawyer you know and uh, it was his own work you know that I started to copy from his work you know to tell people like about his you know because he wanted to have a show when he come here to United States you know but unfortunately he didn't have time you know and um, he passed away uh, after three days so I'm so sorry to hear that yeah it was so heartbreaking you know and when I came here and I see my name there you know it's you know it was so sad because it was supposed to be his name but thank God that I'm doing his work, you know, for him, you know, and I'm, you know, kind of... here to promote yeah. all this art. Yeah. It's quite remarkable. How many pieces are in this gallery? Uh, only uh, five pieces uh, are here. Two of them are th his original artworks, you know, and uh, three of them are the ones that I copied from him. Really? You copied from him? Yeah. Wow. So I want to keep his works, you know, they're not for sale, you know, and if I want to sell, you know, I will... Technique, it's gorgeous it's at what do you what do you use with a a piece of art like this how do you how do you create something like this this is oil painting on velvet i was just going to say it looks like velvet it's yeah. gorgeous it's black velvet you know so it's kind of like i use velvet you know to my subjects you know can be you know jumping out outstanding more you know and yeah it was like my dad's unique style you know so i wanted it's no. just beautiful. It's so Middle Eastern looking, which is, which is Persia, where you come from. That's why. <laughs> Can you Thank tell my audience um, where we could find out more information about your gallery? Do you have a website? Yeah, yeah. My website is uh, shivajlayer.com. You know. And, fi and Facebook, we could follow you on yeah. Facebook. Shiva, Shiva JL is my Facebook. Yeah, you can find me on Facebook. That is your name, Shiva J Lawyer. Yeah, you can type it in and jump up. <laughs> well, you have a beautiful gallery, and you're a very beautiful girl. Thank you, thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you. Yes, and we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here at the Antique Art Center at 1050 Second Avenue. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Antique Art Center located at 1052nd Avenue and 55th Street. And I'm here with the director of this fabulous establishment. Introduce yourself to the Thank camera. Thank you very much. I'm Paul Anavi, and I uh, manage the Manhattan Art and Antique Center. And, uh, been doing it now for three years and we have this new initiative to uh, bring established and emerging artists uh, to the antique center and art center that we have here and it's so far so good we're, we're running a program that now will in has installed eight artists uh, one you just I saw you interviewing and many more I hope you will get to yes. uh, and we think it's a wonderful presentation for the neighborhood which used to be very uh, very much uh, entrenched in the arts throughout the history and we're hoping to bring some of that back here now bring it back you want to be more enthusiastic and hopefully more people will be coming and purchasing some of the fabulous art. and now these are all emerging uh, artists there are th some of them quite well established you have uh, Zahra Nazari on the other end of uh, the hall there which I hope you'll get to uh, to meet 
and uh, Lulu Dong, who's uh, got some awards. We have some emerging artists as well. So it's a mixture of uh, emerging and established artists. Nice collaboration. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. yes. Well, it's very exciting. I mean, everything I'm looking at looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really enjoying myself. And it's a great idea to have this new program, develop a new program like this to make art goers and art seekers and art enthusiasts come in and buy the paintings and buy the artwork and yes. even the antiques. Yes, well we found that many of the clients coming here have expressed an interest in contemporary art and have kind of reached out to us, where are the contemporary dealers? And we have Hemingway Gallery who does contemporary African art and uh, we have pockets of contemporary art throughout the building. Uh, but now we're trying to establish more of a, a bigger presence in the contemporary art field, yes. How many artists are here under this uh, one building? Do you know? Well, in this show we have eight artists uh, who have uh, set up, and then you have countless number of artists represented throughout the building uh, through the dealers that are here, uh, from uh, old established ar artists like Picasso and... Uh, uh, you even have Picasso here. There's, a Pica there's Picasso pottery in the building. I don't know if there's a painting at the moment, but uh, there is a, a contemporary uh, Picasso uh, pottery and Art Nouveau, Art Deco. And, and, and I understand there's three floors of art and antiques. That's right. There are three floors. Uh, so you have galleries on every level, the larger galleries being downstairs. And upstairs you have a lot of fine jewelers. Uh, with uh, estate jewelry, vintage jewelry, uh, Victorian, Edwardian. So if you can't find something here, I don't know where you're going to find it, darling. No, if you don't find something here, you won't find it anywhere. Uh, yeah. Yes, because we have everything from A to Z really covered in this building. We have, like I said, we have African art, we have uh, Chinese art, Japanese art, uh, Islamic and Middle Eastern art, uh, European, very strong in European art, uh, everywhere from French to English. Uh, Hungarian, we have everything in the building you can think of. Well, I was just under a bat chandelier and the owner of the shop told me that he went into a castle and he says, I have to have that bat chandelier. I says, he told me about the story about that. It was like, I've never seen anything like it, a bat chandelier. Have you ever seen anything like that? You'll hear a lot of those stories here at the center where people have found things in the most obscure places, uh, castles and condemned buildings even that, you know, they go in and they find treasures that uh, once they unearth it and clean it up, the whole world looks and says, wow, where did you find that? So you'll find everything like that in this building. Where can we go to find out more information? Do you have a website? We do have a website. It's uh, the Manhattan Art and Antique Center. If you Google it, you'll find it. And if you go to the-maac.com, you'll see it there as well. The Mac with a hyphen in between, yes. And also Facebook, Instagram? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're on all those uh, social media. Uh, but all you need to do is type in the Manhattan Art and Antique Center. You'll find us. Well, thank you, Paul, so much. Don't go away yet. Don't, you have to do the two kisses. Yeah. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. The back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willaline. We are here at the Art and Antique Center, located at 1050 Second Avenue, right on 55th Street. And I'm here with this beautiful artist, and she's going to introduce herself to the camera and tell us about the fabulous artwork that we're seeing in this particular gallery. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Zahra Nazari and uh, I'm from Iran, currently living in New York City and in this exhibition I have about uh, seven pieces, uh, mostly between 50 to 60 inches, uh, all are acrylic on uh, canvas and two on wood panels. And most of the work is based on architecture. A lot of them have uh, influence from uh, Iran and uh, the place that I was born and uh, then reflection of living in a modern city like New York City and how these uh, two different environments influence my work and how the... And how pretty much it inspires you to create all these pieces yes. of art. Yeah, just living in like an, um, a metropolitan city and uh, how like dynamic the energy and the sound of the city started to influence the work and uh, turn it to more postmodern and like deconstructivism architecture, which you see in this piece. And These are all contemporary pieces of yeah. art. Yes. 
So like the as like after a few years, like the oldest influences of ancient architecture is like becoming like an abstraction and mostly like a memory. And also as uh, as I grow as an artist, especially like an, as an immigrant artist from Iran, it's all uh, about this a sense of uh, being in feeling in between and the the sense of uh, not being uh, settled in a country that you don't uh, feel like that you belong to and it's always constant move from one place to another. I know it must be very hard. Uh, yes, uh, so it's just all this. So you, are you trying to assimilate yourself here? Are you trying to uh, you, do you like living in the United States? Yeah, I, I feel like I feel more uh, belong to this country because I came here my early, um, my mid-20s. So that was like the time I felt like I was more um, like my personality was shaping. And it the whole influence and the, in terms of like my personality developed in this country. So I definitely feel more attached than the place I was born. But all of this, like the fragmentation you see in the piece, it's just like the... Uh, pieces that uh, comes from it's like broken pieces that you're yes. trying to put together yes. again. Try the sense of like your uh, identity and your uh, future, and also like thinking, making a new home for yourself, and actually creating an imaginary city for yourself. This particular painting that I'm standing in front of, it looks like it's sort of like an explosion, and then there's light in the center, and it's like you wanted to. Like, grab that centerpiece because of the the light that's coming from it well i mean actually for this one i was looking at the um geometric forms and like the ceiling of a mosque and also some uh, like historical buildings and i brought like the images uh, of those uh, structure and also with the lines of like the glass uh, buildings that how it uh, it's like folded and it's reflective um and it's like a pathway so it's just like an un unclear uh, moving forward but as you mentioned there's a light so it's not like a really um, it's it's a positive uh, looking yes. towards the future. that's exactly that's what I'm that's the vibe that I'm getting now all of this is yours you've done all these paintings yes. unbelievable now uh, from what I understand that your paintings are considered museum quality paintings is that really true Yes, I had exhibition in the museum and um, like solo exhibition uh, around like 25. Uh, what museums? Tell my audience. Um, in the Spartanburg Museum, I had a show um, actually last year in the fall for like three months and Dorsky Museum in New Paltz. Wow, in New Paltz. Yes, um, and a few other places. Um, so what about in Boston? Did you show in Boston as well? Um, no, I haven't shown in Boston, but I have shown in Pennsylvania okay. and um, in um, Utah and Illinois so, and so around the country. But you places. love New York, right? Yes. <laughs> New York is your is your home. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a beautiful young lady, and your artwork is just gorgeous. And I hope you have many sales today, and good luck. Thank you. Can you tell my audience if we want to learn more information about your artwork? Is there a website where we can go yes. to? Uh, so it's my first name, last name, www.zahranazari.com. That's where they can see my installation, my prints and drawings and uh, watercolor and my paintings and different size and formats too. Well, thank you, darling, very much. You're very lovely. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.